Okay. Hello, dear friends. Good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Today we are going to learn fractions addition with mixed number. Okay. Let me write it down. With mixed number. N U M B E R. So I will give you three questions. The first one, seven and one over ten plus eleven and three over ten. The second question, five and four over five plus six and、uh, Fifteen. Uh, uh, four over fifteen. <laughs> I always think about the Chinese way, which is saying the bottom first. Anyway, this is the question, and the third one is、um, a big number: thirty-seven and two over nine plus. Twenty-six and four over five. Oh, four over five again! I must have a loving for this number. Okay, so here is the quiz or the question sheet. Give the answer. If you get it right, you can go through without looking my video further. Okay, hello, dear friends. Now let's see the answer. The first one, eighteen, eighteen, and two over five. The second one, twelve and one over fifteen. The third one, sixty-four and one over forty-five. Uh, this one is written a little bit、uh, not so easy to see. Eighteen and two over five. So let's take a look. If you are right, you do not need to listen to me any further. If not, we will keep on learning. I will explain it. Okay, here is the explanation. First, we copy the problem. A、uh, problem number one. This one we can do an equivalent change. The bottom is the same. The denominator is the same. We do not need to do any change. We can see the first number. This may take some time for you, for me to explain. But I will explain you the reason of my operation. Seven and one over ten means seven. And one over ten, plus plus means and and eleven and three over ten, right? So we can add the whole number, which is eighteen, and then add the fraction four. Over ten, one plus three is four, right? So it's it's and and and. So it's equivalent,、um, equivalent. They are on the same same place. They are on the same class. They are on the same level. You just add. You add first number with second number, and then third, fourth. Or you add first, third, then second, then fourth. It is the same. There is no difference in order. At the end of the day, as long as you put each of these numbers. Into your final result, you are right. So this becomes eighteen and four over ten. Four over ten is not the simplest form. We can change into the simplest form. So the final result: eighteen and two over five. Okay, now the second one. The second one, five and 
4 over 5 plus 6 and 4 over 15. This time I will not write it separately. I will do just here. The denominator is not the same. I need to time a number to make it the same. 5 times 3 makes 15. Bottom times 3 on top. I need to time 3. So this becomes 5 and 12 over 15 plus 6 and 4 over 15. And the whole number adding 11, the fraction adding, bottom do not change. Top 12 plus 4 is 16. Now we see 16 over 15. This is not a true. Uh, this is, this is uh, the, 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 the numerator is bigger than denominator. In Chinese, we call it 假分数, fake <laughs> fraction. Or um, it's just not comfortable, right? You change into mixed number. So it becomes 11 plus 1 plus 1 over 15. This 1 means 15 over 15, right? So it's 12 and 1 over 15. Do I make sense? Thank you very, very much. The third one I will use a little bit different, still a little bit different, so that you can see something each time as long as we are following the rule we can have a different way of doing it or explaining Now, let's see our third question. This is the third question. Now we can see the denominator is not the same. The bottom must be the same. They must be sitting on the same bottom to make comparison. Make sense? So, the bottom need to time 5. Then on top, I time the same number. And 5, I need to time 9. Time 9, make it the same. So this way, what we can do? 7, uh, okay, let me write it clear first. 45 and 10. On the bottom, the denominator is 45. The numerator is 10 plus 26 and on the denominator is 45, the numerator is 36, right? Now we can do the calculation, we can do the adding. Whole number adding together, 3, 6, 63, and then the denominator and numerator, what do we do? Denominator do not change. And numerator adding together, which is 46. Okay, here is, is a, a number that is, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. We are not comfortable with that. It has to be the numerator the numerator smaller than the denominator, right? So we can see it like this, 63 plus 45, 45 over 45 plus 1 over 45. Do I make it easier? And this is 1, right? Denominator and numerator is the same, so that is 1. So 1 plus 63 becomes 64, and then the remaining write it down. So 64 and 1 over 45. 
right? This is how we get the answer. Thank you very, very much.